Hi guys, it's Dustkeeper back with another speed build. I want to apologize ahead of time. I am still under the weather, so I'm still kind of sniffly and coughing and my voice is kind of weird. Um, so just please ignore that. Um, right now we are doing a speed build in Mount Corebi. I recently downloaded the pastel and the clutter pack. Um, really excited when those came out. Uh, really excited to have them now and be able to use them and I was instantly inspired. So the outside of this build is going to reflect the area around it. A really nice traditional Japanese style building. Um, I'm going to do something that was kind of smaller. Uh, if I could have done it smaller than this and could have done it as a, a tiny house, I would have. I just didn't what I wanted layout wise just didn't work with that. Um, so I went with uh, just a traditional box style home with a couple of bump outs to uh, add a little, you know, extra oomph. And you'll see uh, that I also use different texturing in this build. Um, the front bump out here and the back bump out are going to be this texture. And then I've got the um, beams that are coming in that texture right there and I'll be adding um, some wood texturing with different details later on when I put in all of the windows and doors and I'm not going to sing that song because it's in my head um, <laughs> I am not as indecisive in this build because like I said I really kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do with it um, before I started building, uh, I actually went to bed with it on my mind last night and woke up and was just like, okay, let's do this. Yes. I completed this build in one day. I actually completed the build by about six o'clock, six, seven o'clock and, um, spent the rest of my afternoon, uh, slowly editing while watching one of my favorite um, Twitch streamers, Alisa Draws. I love her. She's so amazing. I followed her for so long and um, her community is just great. So uh, go check it out. Just heads up. We are DJ. And we're, we're mm, yeah, <laughs> you'll see a new side of me. Um, I know uh, like I, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm not DJ. I'm a cute, innocent, adorable cinnamon roll. Now you can see there was a little indecisiveness with the size of the rooms here. Um, I kind of really wanted them to be a little bigger, but then I was like, no, no, that's too big and I don't like it. So I just undid everything <laughs> and went back to where I was. Um, yeah, it was, I just figured, you know, I want it to be small. I want this to be cozy and tiny and but at the same time have like the feel of a traditional Japanese house with some uh, some of the layout. So see, I, I completely undid everything that I redid. So, hmm. And now I am putting in the windows. Like I said, I had like a, I said, like I said so many times, I really got to watch what I'm saying. Well, I mean, that sounds wrong. I've really got to be more thoughtful of my language. So you can see here, I'm really kind of settling on what I want because I, I wanted the back office area and the bathrooms to be able to be, you know, have the windows open and let in some, you know, fresh air. Um, wow, my, my throat. Um, let me take a drink real quick. Sippy. Mm. That was a sound I'll probably edit out. Um, <laughs> so uh, the outside is going to be very traditional. So you're going to see me put in some dark flooring, but the inside is going to be super cozy cute adorable pastel heaven um and again adding some texture 
with uh, these wooden slats. I love um, the Snowy Escapes pack. <sighs> so much beauty in this pack. Um, a while back, I actually built a uh, huge, and, and I do have some um, Mount Komorebi um, bathhouses and uh, karaoke places in the gallery under Duskkeeper Plays, or I think it's just Duskkeeper. So if you're interested in that, um, they are more modern builds. This is the first, uh, I think, more traditional exterior build that I've put up, even though I did do a giant house for my um, one of my 100 baby runs. I've done so many of them at this point. And um, that particular uh, thing, uh, the, the little um, TV stand thing, that is from Peacemaker. I love all of his stuff. Um, or their stuff. I'm not sure if they're a male or female. Their stuff. Um, I use it regularly in almost all of my builds. You'll see um, Peacemaker, SYB, and... Um, don't remember the name of the other ones but there are a few others I'll try to get that together um, for you know upcoming videos so you can see that um, I'm trying to make the bathroom really tight and cozy <laughs> the whole theme is pastel cozy um, I found some better rugs that I'm going to put in here that work with pastels um, a lot better and I really, I did, I don't think I went about this build in the way that I normally do. I couldn't figure out where I wanted to put that shelf. I think I end up mixing it all together. Um, I just wanted like pastel rainbow hodgepodge of items. And usually I build the kitchen first. <laughs> and I actually did the living room first here and then went to the bathroom and I mean, I didn't go, I mean, I probably went to the bathroom several times during this video, but, um, I cut out all those pauses, so, <laughs> um, oh, what was I saying? I completely lost track. I also usually put the painting, um, do the walls before I even start, walls and floors before I start adding to the rooms, so I really... I don't know what happened in this particular build, but I really um, was all over the place. I, I usually, you know, finish a room, move to the next room, finish that room, move to the next room. I am just in and out of every single room in this build. Um, trying to get these tatami mats to work. And then I had downloaded a mod our, our CC that had the ends for the tatami mats. It was like a Snowy Escape Plus pack. And um, they did not work, <laughs> sadly. Um, they sat on top of the, and, and they were the wrong color. They sat on top of the rugs and it just, I was disappointed. But, you know, it still looks good. And I like that the tatami mats actually come in a nice lighter color. And here I am putting in some of the stuff from the pastels pack. Um, <clears throat> sorry, Kit. I use the pastel stuff in the office, in the um, bedroom, and in the living room. I just, I'm in love with all the cute little things. And you can see that I'm also placing things that I was just, um, or you'll see in a moment, that I was trying to work in some of the clutter. I'm out of breath. I was trying to, I, I'm not sure if those fans are functional. If I knew for sure that they were, I probably would have used them instead of the heating and cooling system. Um, cause I put the heaters in, but eh, it works. I'm happy with it. And I'm totally going to redesign that part right there too. Um, because it just, it, it still wasn't working the way I wanted it to. This set, um, the 
the desk is from SYB. I really, really love, um, love that particular office set and the clutter that came with it. I think it works really well with the new clutter pack, uh, or kit as well. And the counters are SYB millennial, um, set, which is really cute. I think the sink, uh, everything in the kitchen, pretty much, uh, counters, um, counters, refrigerator, uh, stove, sink, um, and the, the dishwasher and the microwave that I end up putting in. Those are all from, um, the SYB millennial pack. I really, really love it. Um, I think those are SYB laundry as well. Um, so they have one that works with the laundry pack and one that works with the, um, that are just de decoration. If you don't want to actually have to <laughs> have your sim wash clothes. Uh, so you can actually, and that clutter that I put on top of there, when I go back, when, when I went back into the game with the sim that I created to live in the house to take the screenshots, it wasn't there. And all of the work that I did on the landscaping, um, with, well, not landscaping, but all of the work that I did on the, um, the lot to put in the walkways and everything and put in the patio in the back, all of that's gone. Like Sims ate it. And there are, there are little things here and there that are missing, um, from the build. So it's, it's annoying. There is a little indecision with the clutter. So the way I do clutter, um, sometimes I'll have an idea of things that I want, but most of the time it's just me scrolling through, um, clutter and decorations and, um, all of that and then picking my favorites <laughs> as I go, just like, oh, this will work here. This will work here. And then me trying to find lighting and, um, the neon that is from SYB as well. <laughs> At least I'm loyal, right? Um, yeah. So there you can see I'm, I changed the counter out and put in the, the thing and some of this is going to be moved and isn't you're, you're going to see different things in the screenshots i made some changes after i made the um sim that ended up moving in uh which is actually the streamer that i was watching <laughs> alisa and her dog mochi and her kitty chester the best boys um I thought that this would, she, she just fits <laughs> and I needed a sim. Um, so, so I, I made her and her babies and moved them into this, uh, house. So I did change a few things to, um, better suit her. Um, like I changed the computer to like a large drawing tablet that she uses for work and then gave her a, like an iPad on the side. So, um, yeah, I wish I could, could have done like more multiple screens, but I haven't found, um, a good pack for that yet. So here you see, I have actually, um, decided to get rid of part of that clutter because both clutter, uh, the jewelry clutter did not fit. So I got rid of that and I'm adding more clutter to the, um, the office area, getting ready to move in some greenery and stuff. And then I'm doing my favorite part, which is the kitchen clutter. The majority of my video, like my builds, like I'll spend half the time is actually building and putting in the walls and putting in the furniture. The rest of it is literally just me scrolling through clutter <laughs> and shoving things in places to make it look more lived in. So like I said, you can just see me scrolling. And if I see something I like that's cluttered, it's like, oh, I'm going to use that. 
Um, here I am deciding I don't like what I did with the entryway and scrapping it all together and just throwing in some clutter shoes. Um, here you'll see me like I'm scrolling specifically looking for shoe clutter. And I'll come back and then I'll just keep scrolling through and adding more clutter as I go. Um, kitchen cluttering, I think kitchen and desk clutter are my two favorite groups of clutter. Um, that and greenery. I love, <laughs> I love putting greenery in my builds. I, if you've seen any of my videos, it's pretty clear. I really, really enjoy um, all of the greenery. And here I'm uh, trying to put some cooking utensils out and um, pans and things like that so that, um, like I said, it looks lived in. It's a small kitchen. There's not a lot of space to shove things, um, especially when everything's overhead. <laughs> so I wouldn't personally put pans you know, up high, I would, I keep my pans in lower, um, spaces. So I would actually probably, if I didn't have any lower spaces to keep my pans, put them like up. Oh, and I love these new speakers. That is an actual, um, radio. It's, um, so it's speakers with like, and I gave her like a lot of pencils and stuff. Cause she also is a traditional artist, not just digital artist. And her traditional art, her watercolors are what like made me fall in love with her work in the first place. Just mm, it, when, when she has watercolors and she puts that brush to paper, it is like magic, like the beauty that flows from that brush. I just, she's absolutely amazing. Like I said, Elisa draws on Twitch, YouTube, and, um, her, she hasn't updated her YouTube in a long time. Um, but the stuff that she has there is still very, very beautiful. Yes, it is. Elisa, don't you even, it, it's beautiful. Hush. Um, the things that she has there are really pretty. Her Twitch streams are always a lot of fun. Beautiful girls um, and really cute dogs <laughs> um, in her art. So she's also has a really cute VTuber, which is just, uh, Elise is just awesome. And everybody there is awesome. It's a, it's a nice community. Um, so yeah, check uh, Elisa Draws. It's you won't be sorry if you really like, you know, soft, pretty and hot things. Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely go check her out. Um, I don't know, check her out. I mean, you could check her out, but like check out her work. <laughs> um, she's on Instagram as well. So um, back to the build. I am about to start putting on the, the wallpaper and paint. I am a little indecisive at first about that. So, um, I'm indecisive a lot and I talk about being indecisive a lot. I need to stop talking about being indecisive. Could it be that I'm actually indecisive about being indecisive? Hmm. Oh, well, um, <laughs> There I am again, looking at all of the, the clutter and just seeing if there's anything I want to put. No. Oh, I was looking specifically for a vent because, um, you know how you have that little vent coming. If, if you live in the house, you have the little vent somewhere that, uh, takes all of the dryer stuff and hot air out of the dryer and stuff. Um, that's what I was looking for. And here I am trying to figure out what on earth I'm going to do with that wall. I knew I wanted to make the wall with the moon on it an accent wall, but I just wasn't sure what I wanted. So I tried a bunch of different things. I liked the, the mountain idea. I wasn't even sure about the wall color either. I really flip flopped a lot on that, but, um, I like, I liked the mountain idea and there's one that I used in a recent build that one that I really liked and it ended up working. And so I used similar pink and then I started doing my 
greens and my blues and my yellows and I wanted to make this room a little bit more dynamic. I didn't want it all one color. Um, and now you're going to see me trying to pick a wall color. I, oh, that is, um, that was a little loud. I thought that I had actually muted <laughs> my notifications. I apologize. There might be some um, notifications coming up. Um, I did not mute all of my notifications, so you might hear that noise a couple more times. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I wanted to just be quirky and cute and adorable and soft and pastel uh, in the inside the house. Because you have, you know, this very sturdy, uh, um, strict wood on the outside. And on the inside you have, boop, cute and adorable and... And now we're putting in the plants, my favorite part. Like I, I enjoy clutter, but I enjoy cluttering with plants. And um, yeah, <laughs> I pretty much know exactly what plants I want. Um, I can get to it pretty fast at this point. Um, I, I feel like sometimes I do a lot uh, too much of symmetry. Uh, I don't know. It just it feels right. Did I ever put more plants beside that one plant? I don't think I did. I think I just threw that one plant in there and I didn't put any more plants. It's just a random plant. I knew exactly what I wanted on the porch though. Like exactly. I, I didn't even have to, I, as you can see, I actually searched for that particular plant system. And now we're going to start adding the trees. Uh, the Japanese maple, one of my favorites, and the Japanese pine. And I'm moving the maple to the backyard because I feel like the backyard needs a little shade. And then the lantern tree, um, which I love. And now we're going to put all of this lovely patio in that Sims decided to eat. Yep, that's not there anymore. It doesn't exist. All my hard work, the paths, mm -hmm. hand painting them all in. <sighs> it, it, it's kind of painful to watch this part now. I, I, look, I'm so upset my southern's coming out. Like, I am so upset I'm, my southern accent's here. Okay, yep. Just give me a minute, let me... <clears throat> Let me get past that. Get get back to. Oh, yeah. So, really cute <laughs> and nice backyard. Uh, I I love adding in the those little natural uh, bits and details and making it look worn and a little muddy and all that. Um, Sometimes I'll put a pathway. Sometimes I, I like an actual stone um, path, but I didn't feel like it fit this particular build. So we just uh, went with the, the, the dirt and now we're going to put in a little barbecue area. I really like the, the barbecue from the, the new desert um, kit, but there's this whole area that should that you should be able to to put things on and it won't let you so I had to use this um, barbecue that is CC because as you can see it lets me actually put things on it um, so I didn't have to put because it did it wasn't the right place for a countertop so uh, usually I do it on the porch with countertops but that didn't work for that I'd love to be able to find you know just a little traditional Japanese like floor grill you know like what you see in the anime when they're just cooking a little fish or chicken on it um, you know not one of these big grills something something that I feel like that's one thing that the Mount Korebi pack really missed but can't have it all except for when you're paying you know for an expansion pack you expect you know, for it to have, sir. Anyway, you know, I'm not gonna get picky over it. Look, we're done. 
it looks done. We're done. Oh no, we're not done. Um, ignore underneath the house. I'm, 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 I'm fixing that. I'm going to fix that. It's okay. It, it's see, it's fixed. Everything is okay. It's fixed. We are now done. So don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. Oh, and your stuff. Hmm. Now we're done and I'm going to be taking screenshots at this point and you are going to see the lovely screenshots here at the end in a photo um, slideshow and thank you to Alisa um, for being a constant inspiration in my art and I guess now in Sims. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!